Hi folks. I just posted a video on a shower install I'm doing as part of a bathroom remodel. And I wanted to do a follow-up video as a safety warning for people. I'm going to put on my electrician's hat now. And I am a licensed electrician. I do have a current master's license. And um, so I'm using this old half inch drill. It's really a nice old drill. It's a uh, mall brand made in Chicago. They made these back in the late thirties on into the forties. Very powerful motor. And I'm using it with this mixer bit. And it dawned on me that it's kind of dangerous using it because um, I look at the original cord here, two prongs. So it's missing a ground. And so back in the day, they didn't include equipment grounds. And today, if you have a drill motor or another implement that has two prongs on the cord, it's because it's double insulated. And if you take a look somewhere on your modern tool, it'll be labeled double insulated if it's lacking a ground. And what that means is um, they've taken steps to um, protect the user from if there's some sort of a internal short that um, that short will not reach the parts of the tool that you're likely to be touching but back in the day this was made they didn't do that sort of thing so the fix is i'm going to put a new cord on it and i'm going to include a um, that third grounding conductor and what i'll do is i'll um find somewhere on the metal case to attach the ground on the inside there probably near the trigger um, even if I have to drill the metal case and tap it probably with a 1032 tap so I can use one of those green equipment grounding screws and then I'll be safe um, right now if this thing was to short out and you know I'm using it around water and everything else I could be injured and possibly electrocuted because lacking that ground, um, likely the circuit breaker won't see any inrush of current and won't trip in a fault like that. So you need to have that equipment ground so that uh, the circuit breaker will see a spike in current and trip. So I'm gonna do that on this tool and better safe than sorry. And I just thought I'd uh, put this out as a safety warning to anyone using some of these older tools to something to watch out for okay have a good day bye bye